Hey everybody, Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com and thank you again for joining us on the next leg of our journey through all of the watches that are available at R2AWatches.com. Today we are talking again about Vostok Europe, in this case the Luna Code 2. If you are watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit like and subscribe. If you are watching this on Facebook, you want to join the Facebook group Vostok Europe Timepieces. That is a closed group where we interact with the fans of our watches all the time and you'll really enjoy your time there if you become a fan of the watches of r watchescom As I said today, we are talking about Vostok Europe, easily our most popular brand. Vostok Europe is a boutique brand based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Every watch is custom designed, custom made, and 100% hand assembled there at their factory in Vilnius, Lithuania. If you want to learn more about the brand in general, you want to go to our YouTube page, R2A Watches, or you want to go to R2AWatches.com. That's R, the number two, the letter A, watches.com, where you can find out more information about the brand in general than we can go to in these specific videos where we talk about each and each individual watch. As I said today, we are talking about the Lunacode 2 from Vostok Europe. Now, as I've mentioned many, many times, and those of you who followed us, you know that every Vostok Europe has a story. They're built around an inspiration. Sometimes it's a physical thing, a piece of engineering, as in the case of the Lunaco 2. Sometimes it's a world record, like the guys who went to the deepest uh, spelunking in the Kerbera Cave. There's all kinds of things that go into the inspirations that create the Vostok Europe watches. Again, in this case, it is the Lunacode 2. Lunacode was a set of lunar rovers that were built by the Soviets in the late 60s, early 70s. There were actually four built. This is inspired by the second one. Of the four, one of them actually blew up on takeoff, and two of them actually made it to the to the moon, one of them being the Luna Code 2. They still hold some records to this day for the longest time actively working on the moon. Um, they are these really funky looking cool things that you're going to see us as we post up some pictures and, and videos about it while you're watching this video. Um, so you can get a feel for what the inspiration was. As I've mentioned before, Costa, the uh, chief designer at Vostok Europe, he tends to pull out little elements from the inspirations, and he uses those to create the overall new design of the watch. When you look at the actual Lunacode rover and you look at the Lunacode 2 model, you can see the inspirations. It's not so much that I can point and say this is this exactly came from this part of the rover or it was inspired by the wheel. It's a look, a feel. It's more of a uh, just kind of an overall impact that the, that the design has, which is speaking to its inspiration. Uh, in this case, it's not surprising, as complex as the Lunacode 2 rover was, that this is the most complex case work available in a Vostok Europe timepiece. There really isn't another Vostok Europe that has so many elements going into the casework. This is also the largest of the currently available Vostok Europe watches. It is 49 millimeters across, and it is a whopping nearly 17 millimeters thick. So this is definitely a watch for those who like big, aggressive timepieces. This is going to be bold on your wrist. This is going to be not going to be missed, especially the way that the uh, the way that the rotating bezel has these geometric cuts in it and it sits well above the case, uh, it is a really, really aggressive timepiece. Now, let me quickly go through some of the, of the basic specs of the watch and then we'll get into more detail about the Lunaco 2. First of all, as I said, it is 49 millimeters across. It is 17 millimeters thick. It has the K1 mineral crystal system, which is based on the Gorilla Glass system, which puts you right between sapphire and mineral. It gives you nearly the scratch resistance of sapphire and nearly the shatter resistance of mineral, which makes it a great choice for a sport watch. Vostok Europe's slogan is for going to extremes, and this the Lunaco 2 is no exception from the quality builds of Vostok Europe that are designed for that express purpose, which means they are built for extreme sporting activities to basically be used in any kind of activity. At one point, uh, the Lunaco 2 watch was sent up in a helium balloon that went to the edge of space, and it still functioned properly. Re unidirectional rotating bezel, that's for elapsed time function on diving, because this is a 30 ATM uh, watch that makes it 10 ATM above what is considered professional grade dive quality specs. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the Lunaco 2 in terms of design is that the actual SKU number and the limited edition number are etched on the side of the case. That is a lot more difficult to do than etching them on the case back because the case back is much more of a flat piece 
Although in the case of Vostok Europe, they make such thick and aggressive case backs, calling that flat is kind of an overstatement. Um, but it is easier to actually etch something on this. It is much more difficult to curve to etch to etch into the curve of a case, of the case. Um, so that's one of the interesting elements of this. And uh, let's just see what else. Well, in terms of basic specs, it does come with two straps. It comes in the dry box, which we'll talk about more when we get to that. Um, we also are suggesting that we, we have a NATO strap on on the site that's actually a good fit for this watch as well, though it doesn't automatically come with it. But it's going to come with the leather and the silicone. I'll get back to that in a little bit more, a little bit more later as well. Uh, the standard standout feature of this watch, though, is how it handles the tritium tube technology. Now, if you've watched our videos before, you know what tritium tube technology is. Or if you're a, a geek about Loom, you probably know what tritium tube technology is. The short version of the story is these are laser-sealed glass tubes that are filled with a substance called tritium. That tritium actually constantly activates the luminous material inside the glass tubes. And then that material being agitated like that, it lights up all the time. That means that no matter when you pull this out, whether it's been sitting in a drawer for a year or a weekend, it's going to have the same level of luminosity. Unlike, say, Superluminova, where you charge that up in a light source, preferably UV, it's going to shine really bright. In fact, it'll shine brighter in the beginning than tritium will, uh, as tr tritium's constant illumination is. Um, but it is going to fade within, you know, a few hours at most. Tritium, it doesn't matter where you wear it, when you wear it, how long it was in the drawer, it doesn't have to be charged up. It's going to have constant illumination. Now, one of the things that Vostok Europe does that I really love about their designs and how they just like to think different is they ha they really have done some interesting design elements that, el that maximize the amount of illumination coming out of the tritium tubes. I've been holding the chapter ring here, which is the chapter ring on the watch, where it actually has the tritium tubes implanted. And implanted is really the word because usually tritium tubes lay flat on a dial. And by doing that, you're actually hiding as much as 50% of the surface area of the light. Vostok Europe created these candle holders. These actually, is, it may be difficult to see here, but there's actually a reflective material inside the candle holder. And then the tube is standing up vertically. Okay, that means that you're getting 360 degree illumination on this watch because first of all, the tube standing up vertically, the only place that's being blocked is the bottom of the tube, like say, for instance, like a, like you're, if you were putting it in as a bolt, it's just that bottom part of the bolt that's being hidden. And then the fact that it reflects against those reflectors. So you're getting the maximum illumination that you can out of the tubes that happen to be on the, on the Lunaco 2. One other aspect of this, it does have the helium release valve. Again, this is a, a, uh, professional grade dive quality watch. This is probably something most people are never going to use when they when they get their Lunaco 2 or their Energia, which also has a helium release valve. This is really intended for saturation diving, and I'm not going to go into all the details of how that works right now. Uh, we'll probably do a video sometime, maybe with Igor, because he explains really well how helium release valves work. Um, but, but it is a sign of the quality of construction that you're going to be getting. Water resistance uh, levels speak to the amount how the uh, how the um, how, what are they called the seals the gaskets uh, gaskets was the word I was looking for to the quality of the gaskets the quality of the steel seals the quality of the construction the greater the water resistance you have to have a higher grade quality watch. And I really love, by the way, on the back, the etching of the Lunaco 2 on the case back of this. Vostok Europe does such amazing case back work, part of the watch that most people don't even see. And there's this beautiful piece of art on the case back. I want to show you a couple of other things. And speaking of quality of construction, I was mentioning gaskets. Okay, this is the crown on the Lunaco 2. And let me get it, let me get it focused in here. And you can see that there is a gasket at every set point on the crown. So at each position that you pull it out, it moves over to another gasket. Now you should have the crown fully in if you're going to be in water, but nevertheless, as an extra backup precaution, there are three gaskets for each position of the crown on the Lunaco 2. So that's a sign of the quality of construction. Let me show you the casework on this. I showed the other day when we were doing the Energia 2. Look at, <laughs> it's just off the hook. Look at how much metal, let me get this, if 
focused. Look at how much metal there is all the way around on this casework. And then that in and of itself is 6.6 .6 millimeters thick. The case, the interior case of this watch is 6.6 .6 millimeters thick. Wow. I mean, just I, this is one of the things I like to say, and part of why we show the actual components of Vostok Europe watches on a regular basis is I'm not afraid to take apart a, a, a Vostok Europe watch and show you every single element. That is how much quality there is. And just another example of something that shows that speaks to the quality of Vostok Europe watches. You know that most watches, the strap on the watch is just one of those pressure pins. They're not that heavy duty. They do the job. This is the pin. I just always, I, I, I chuckle because it's just crazy. This bar is actually the strap pin. I mean, it is just unbelievable. Look at, look at that. That is the pin or bar that holds the strap in place against the case on the Lunaco 2. Now it is important to point out when you're switching out the strap, on the Lunaco 2, you want to take the bar out and move it over to the other strap because the bar is not, there's not an extra bar inside each strap. And, and that is actually geometric. So you don't risk a swivel on it. And then there are these two prongs that actually hold the strap. Let me get the bar all the way in. These two prongs, now this is a different case from a different Lunaco, but you get the idea. Um, if I can get it in there. And then these two prongs go into the side of the case and they hold the strap firmly against the case. I mean, the, just the, the thought, the, the engineering thought that goes into all of these different elements that are in the Lunaco 2 is just amazing. I mean, it, it, is, it is such a rugged, solid timepiece. Now, in the time we have left, because uh, this is getting to be uh, out there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain a couple of other things like other like other dive watches from Vostok Europe, you're going to get the results of the water tightness test before it left Vilnius. This was the test that the watch had right before it left Vilnius. It has the limited edition number of the watch on the certificate, so you know that it passed the 30 ATM test before it left Vostok Europe. It also comes in the amazing dry box. You know, if you're a fan of Vostok Europe, you know the quality of the Pelican cases that Vostok Europe builds. These are built in the same factory that Pelican cases are built. And that, usually it pops really loud, but now it's been down here long enough that it doesn't have that air seal, but there you go. You can really feel the quality. This is a water resistant. This alone is a $59 value. And if you wanted to use it for boating or what have you, you can take the insides out uh, the insert out and you can use it to carry whatever you want. It's great if you want to throw your cell phone in there, your wallet or whatever when you go boating or any other water activities. So really quick, I'm going to recap. This is the Lunaco 2 from Vostok Europe with those amazing stand-up tritium tubes, 49 millimeter, 17 millimeter thick, surgical grade stainless steel. It is the automatic mechanical NH35 movement, which I didn't mention that before, um, but it, that it does have a true mechanical movement with, with the automatic function where if you, when you wear it on your wrist, it winds with the movement of your wrist. Um, Multi-layered dial. I didn't mention that earlier. Look at the, the sandwich dial in the center. Then you've got this chapter ring. Then you've got the stadium. Then you've got the, I mean, there's just so much going on in this case. It's just amazing. Two straps, or you can also pick up a great uh, NATO nylon to go with it. Um, uh, numbered limited edition, just a fantastic all around timepiece that really, really features all of the aspects that you look for in a Vostok Europe. I'm Craig Hester with r2awatches.com. This has been the Lunaco 2 from Vostok Europe. And hey, keep watching.